Hello everyone, this is Collector of All Things and today we'll be discussing glycine. Before I go into uh, the watch itself, I just want to talk a little bit about the history of glycine. They were founded in 1914 by Eugene Malin in Bienne, Switzerland. They basically started out uh, specializing in small quality movements and in 1953 they came out with their iconic Airman which uh, became uh, quite a useful tool for pilots in the 1960s and 70s. Let's take a look at the watch. Airman Royale 18. This is model number 3866. So this one here is the 38 millimeter. And the one thing you can tell, if just looking at the watch right away, you'll notice that the bezel markings and the face markings are in 24 hour increments. The actual three-hander tells time like a regular 12 hour increment watch. So when you're looking at it, you, you have to know when how to read a watch, obviously. And uh, as you can see that it's, it's a little half past uh, 12 o'clock right now. What I've done, because the GMT hand actually works in the 24-hour increment, I've programmed the GMT hand to follow where I am right now in my local area. So I can actually tell from the GMT hand that it is, in fact, past 12 o'clock. The other thing too that I really love about this watch is the dial itself. When you look at it, it's actually two colors. It goes from black to a gradient uh, to blue. That shows you day and night. So obviously when it's in the dark part, it's at nighttime. And when it's in the daytime, it's in daytime. And it helps when you look at the 24 hour uh, dial that you actually see you know, that the nighttime is on the top and the daytime is on the bottom. It also has a date. The date is at the three o'clock. The bezel itself turns bi-directionally and is controlled by this right here. So this crown here actually locks it into place with teeth. Now, uh, this is a ETA movement. Uh, they do, when you go on to uh, glycine, you'll see that the movement is a GL293, but it is based on an ETA2893-2. Two. So, uh, you know, a, a workhorse of a movement, it's a movement that's been around for a very long time. You don't have to worry about it. Can be serviced pretty much anywhere where they can service ETA. And uh, you know that it'll be functionally correct. This has a 42 hour power reserve and 21 joules. Uh, it vibrates at 2800 vibrations uh, per hour and is at 4 hertz. Now, talking about the movement, why don't we take a look at it? They do some decoration, as you can see on the actual oscillator right there, the rotor. Weight is on ball bearings. It does move around very freely, as you can see right here. And uh, it has very nice Cote de Genève striping with glycine airmen and, uh, and you know, uh, an airplane on it, which is really, really nice. The, the, it does have blued screws, as you can see, inside the movement itself. And it's just a very well finished movement. The the order itself is rhodium plated, so it'll give you that beautiful shine for a long time. It's gonna look beautiful for many, many years. And it's easily something that can be handed down because this can be repaired, serviced, and will last pretty much forever if it's well taken care of. Uh, the actual watch itself uh, tells great time. I have to say that this is with well within chronometer uh, certifications, even though it is not a chronometer certified movement. But you'll find with ETA when they're properly adjusted, uh, obviously they're exactly what their chronometer capability uh, is. So this one seems to have been very well adjusted from the factory and works uh, impeccable. I, I have no complaints about it telling time. As you can see that the case back is screwed down. This is a, uh, 200 meter water resistance. So uh, t this is uh, really, really uh, nice. It's 660 feet uh, that it can take. But of course, being on this beautiful leather strap, I, I highly doubt, I mean, I certainly will not be swimming with this incredible watch. Um, it's strictly nice to know that it does have the ability 
to uh, take that water. So every day, you can wear this watch every day and never have to worry about it. If you happen to wash your hands or some water splashes onto it, or you don't have to worry about dust or anything, it will, will be able to take those knocks and bangs and everything, especially with the beautiful stainless steel case. If we take a quick look at the strap, this is a 20 millimeter strap and it is a calf skin. And I, I, I've been wearing it for quite some time now. And I have to say that it's one of my favorite straps. Uh, I personally like don't don't necessarily like the straps that come from the manufacturer. Usually, I look for an aftermarket, but I find that glycine. I don't know who their supplier or, or if they do it themselves, but this is just a a fantastic strap. Uh, it, it was supple when it came out of the box, and uh, I'm I just love wearing it. I, it's extremely comfortable as as a strap. You do have a signed buckle uh, which has glycine on it. And uh, the buckle itself is also 20 millimeter. It's rather large for the actual watch itself. If you look at the buckle and, and the watch, I mean, they're, they're pretty much the same size almost. Uh, but what I do like is it kind of balances the watch when I'm wearing it, which I didn't think I'd like it. But for some reason, I find it extremely comfortable. Would it be have been maybe more elegant to have a smaller buckle yeah without a doubt i think it would have been uh, and i think they use the same buckle on their bigger models so they're like they're 46 millimeters so it's understandable i guess um, for pricing to to use the same buckle but yeah i think that's something they could have worked on uh, as you can also see they have the glycine logo on the leather which is uh, another neat nice little feature i love the stitching also beautiful blue it's like a distressed leather very 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 well done uh it's a regular class some people complain that it wasn't a deployment class but personally i'm enjoying it i, I think it matches the character of the watch itself um if we also notice that the case itself is very high polished on the sides here very very nice beautiful 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 polishing they do put the serial number in the front over here and then, of course, polish there. And it has a, a beautiful, I, I love this bend in it. it. It just, it feels so soft and it feels really nice against the skin because this is the part that you're going to touch when, I mean, it doesn't rest on your wrist, but you do, you do feel this part. And it, it's very, there's no sharp edges. Very, very well done. You can grab the bezel. Uh, as you can feel right here, there is a, enough resistance, but it doesn't, uh, there's no sharp edges. It's very, very well done. The crown itself is signed which is also very nice. And as you can see here, let's see if we can get it into, you have both of them and they're both signed. Uh, it is a screw down crown. And uh, of course you have a little, all the functionality. Uh, if you scroll, if you roll up, you'll change the date. If you roll down, you'll change the, the GMT hand itself. Uh, also, when we look at the case, it is differentially polished. As you can see that we have some brushing right here on the lugs, which I think adds to the depth and the beauty of this watch. Uh, I really think that, uh, you know, for me, they did a great job with this case. I just love it. And as you can see, the gold itself on the bezel is protected by a stainless steel. As you know, that gold is a softer metal. So on an everyday usage, you, you could scratch gold very easily but they've kind of encased it to protect it on the sides so you'd have to take the impact on the front and the fact that it is a sapphire crystal that's very good it does have ar coating and this model i know that some glycines they they offer sapphire in the front and then they put mineral on the back this model actually has sapphire on both the back and the front so this is like their higher end version of the watch itself but it's just beautiful. I love the coloring. I find it very elegant. And maybe we take a look here on the wrist itself. Look at that. And I have uh, about a seven inch wrist. And as you can see, it does fit. Uh, the lugs are a little bit inside, but it looks elegant and beautiful. And I love the feel itself. Uh, this is, a, like I said, a 38 millimeter, but I, it has such wrist presence that it doesn't need to be any bigger than what it is. The fact that it does have that 18 karat gold bezel, uh, the rose gold, which kind of looks, uh, I would like to say a little bronze, uh, it makes the watch itself stand out. So I really enjoy it on the wrist. And everyone who's seen it, they seem to really, really like it. Now, will this watch be everyone's cup of tea? 
Obviously not. And that's why they make different versions. So if you are interested in the Airman, Glycine makes an incredible amount of versions, uh, whether they're PVD coated, whether they're um, the, the classic design, they have different sizes that range anywhere from 36 millimeter all the way to their Airman 7, which is 53 millimeters. So you can get a size for everyone if this is not quite the size that you're looking for. If you don't like the gold, you don't like the gradient, uh, you don't like any of that, you can definitely find one that's your size. If we take just a quick look at the face inside, you'll see that it has the glycine logo, uh, which is in the same color as the rose gold. You have uh, Airman written underneath, and then automatic, you, it does show you the water resistance, which is really something else. And it does say that it's an automatic. Uh, it is Swiss made, as you can see. Overall, I think they did an incredible job. Uh, let's it does have a loom. Let's take a quick uh, shot of the loom. So the hands are very bright as you can see the uh, hour hand and the minute hand and of course the seconds but you can barely see the hour markers and they get they go away very quickly. Uh, that's too bad because wow uh, the hour hand the minute hand and the second hand are very very strong. Let's go over the positives and negatives. Um, let's start with the negatives first. As you can see with the loom, the hour hand, the, the minute hand, and the second hand, they work really well, but the hour markers, maybe on my model, I don't know, but it's not very strong as a loom for the, uh, the actual markers themselves. The buckle too, while I like it, I think it might throw off some other people. Uh, it's a little, it's a tad big for this size of watch. Now, if you get the 46 millimeter version, I think you'll have the perfect size buckle. Uh, the positives, I have to say, are for me the style of this watch. I love the coloring. I think it's rich, it's vibrant, it's beautiful. It's something different in my collection. Uh, the movement itself is impeccable, strong movement. Uh, I know that if I need to service it, I can, I can definitely afford to do it. Um, also the fact that the history of the Airman, the fact that it does have, it's a historic brand. So, uh, I think you get some history there. You've got a beautiful watch, very, very well made. Uh, really, I can't find that many knocks against it. Uh, I think you would be hard pressed to find a watch um, especially in this price range. Now, when these watches came out, uh, the, uh, the retail price was, was very high. But now, uh, since they've been purchased by Invicta, you can get these watches for what I consider a steal. When you look at watches like this, uh, whether you're, you know, if you're looking at the regular Airman, you can pick up for like pennies on the dollar. Or you look at this one, which are, you know, maybe cents on the dollar as a, you know, a little bit more. Um, you, you, the, the value is there. The Glycine right now, uh, is a great watch for value. You get something with a great caliber, a great quality movement, uh, impeccable finishing for a reasonable price. This is a brand that I think gets overlooked a lot or people are not even aware of. Uh, I am loving this watch. I'm really enjoyed wearing it. And I do recommend this watch or a similar version of it. Any of the airmen, uh, the, the mechanical airmen look like they are very similar and very well finished. So I do definitely recommend Glycine at the moment. Um, what Invicta does with them in the future is, uh, re you know, remains to be seen. But right now you're getting yourself one heck of a watch for an incredible value. Well, I really enjoyed showing off my Glycine Airman 18 Royale. This is the 3866, as I've mentioned before, and I just love it. And if you did, please don't forget to leave a like. Um, if you like what you're seeing, uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification button so you can see more content like this. And uh, I really wanna thank all my subscribers, and I wanna wish you a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.